What is up, Yosh Alliance? This is United Gamer 101 here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Demon Souls. In this part, we're going to be going on and versing the first boss of the game in Boletarium Palace. Now, this boss is not going to be quite difficult. You already saw the spear come out. Now, you may notice something different about the screen if it's like higher or lower on the souls and more of items and such. I went through this, uh, I went and I was, I already recorded this once and I didn't hit record on the system. So it missed the whole boss fight, so I had to go back and beat the whole level again. But for you guys, it's worth it. So let's go ahead and enter this. We're going to have a cutscene right here. Just kidding. What are we talking about? There's no cutscenes in this game. Alright, so this boss is going to be filled with these little slug monsters. Not too difficult, really. Except if you get demolished like I am at the moment. Now, one thing I like to do is go ahead and get you some fire bombs set up. Run in and throw them. This will set them all on fire. Get some damage done and knock them all out. They, fire is their weakness. Get a lot of them dead, and then you're pretty much set throughout this through uh, this game, this uh, boss fight. I mean, but they can throw spears too, so be aware of that. So just because you're you know away from them doesn't mean they can't hurt you. I like to hide behind like pillars and such. But right now I'm knocking them all out. Not really being that hard for me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy because he was almost dead. And you too, you're almost dead. All, I actually almost took them all out. That's really awesome. Oh, there we go. One last one. Okay, so there we go. We already knocked out most of them. There's only probably around the 10 left. I'm going to go ahead and knock them, a couple of these out here. All, because I'm pretty sure they were the ones damaged earlier from the fire bombs. Now, these guys are going to be dropping many weapons. So, I really recommend you go ahead and kill them. This weapons can be used to upgrade your weapons and such. Like, say you want to upgrade the scimitar that I have right now. You will need like hard stones, I believe. There's like hard stones, sharp stones, clear stones. There's so many items you need in this game. And you don't even have to kill all of them. You can go ahead and kill him, actually. But I like killing them, so maybe they'll drop some items for you. And you're right here, aren't you? Come on, just die. Now you do if you hear that little like um heartbeat in the background, this is a scimitar. This scimitar has a bleeding effect, which means it's like, you ever had like a weapon in an RPG game where it has like poison and it d deals poison damage? Well, it's the same thing. It's a bleeding effect. It allows them to bleed and it hurts some more. And it eventually it'll wear off and such. It, it's, it has that game too. It's, I mean, it's an RPG. It has the basic stuff. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Alright guys, we have beat the first boss of the game. The demon was destroyed. You shall obtain a demon soul and a power that is beyond human imagination. You are revived. You regain your body, brings more souls, and slayer of demons. Okay, so whenever you beat a major boss like this, you will be turned, be returned into human form, which means your health goes all the way back up, which is very good in the game. The only thing good about this, you can now summon other people when you're online for them to help you, and you can play with friends that way. And if you want to like join a friends game, you're gonna have to be in soul form and kill yourself. So just gonna point that out. Go ahead and touch this arc stone and you get a lead demon soul. For every major boss you beat, they will also drop a demon or soul form for you. You can use that to gain more souls or you can save it to trade for items, magic, or weapons. There are some you really need to keep. To I would really look those up. Like, or like, say you want to be a magician, you really should keep the thun um, the dragon god's soul he drops. Although, if you use it to get gain souls, it gives you a lot. I'm going to go ahead and say that. So it's your choice what you want to do, what you want to do with it. And you can go ahead and continue on. This will be part two of the first world. But what I like to do, I, I like to go ahead and go in back. So whenever you want to come beat this level again, you can spawn right here actually and continue on. But let's go ahead and click this. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Alright, so she was talking about something called a monumental. You're gonna have to do this one last thing. 
And after that's probably all we're gonna have for this episode, so we're gonna go ahead and run up here. It's gonna take some while. Just keep running, just keep run. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this monumental, there's not, there, there was supposed, suppo okay, I can't speak today. Supposedly there was a lot of them, and this is the last one alive. And you're gonna have a cutscene right here to watch. It's gonna tell you what this is, the nexus, what you're here to do, what, how you're going to save them, and everything. Now there's another item you're gonna find up here. This is very, very helpful. Now you can go ahead and jump right here and kill yourself, whatever you would like to do. Now here's what you need to talk to right there. Before we do that though, what I want, what I would recommend you go do is go ahead and go down this right here. Get this item right here. It's called a Stone of Ethereal Eyes. This item will revive you whenever you're in soul form. So if you ever need to be in human form, just use that and it will revive you. You can find them kind of actually a little bit like throughout the game. It's kind of like a Pokemon rare candies. About the same ratio. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to this person. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadow men, and the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? No! Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, Will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom? <laughs> bosom. I don't know why that might, that word makes me laugh. But you're dang right. We will kill all these demons. We get, we got this. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, but that cutscene, you know, explained a good bit. I've actually never watched that whole thing through. I have a low um, what's it called? I don't know, but it's where you can't pay attention well. I I normally know the word, but you know, I'm not good with words, so. But you want to run back down here, and actually the, one of the art stones was lost. If you notice, right here, I'm going to go ahead and drop. It isn't going to hurt me too bad. This one right here is no longer there. It was, I don't know really what happened to it. It doesn't really explain it as far as I know. And there's that one. 
and then there's this one. So that's all the art zones for you, but no, okay, that's the underground guy. Yeah. Now of all these, I'm gonna go ahead and point out the one I dislike the most is this one. It's very complicated. And it's like a maze. Uh, the hardest one is probably this one. Uh, one of the bosses in this one's the, it's called the old hero or something. He's really hard in my opinion. Easiest one is probably this one. The whole, all of it's easy. The bosses, it's really short. You can speed it. This one's pretty difficult, and it's the longest. There's four levels in this one, and there's three in all the rest. This one is medium. Medium and everything. Medium difficulty. Medium confusing. It's not really confusing, but it's kind of like you have to turn switches and go through levels and stuff. This one, you have to actually, like, find keys and unlock. It's just annoying. The Tower of Latria. So annoying. It's, like, basically for mages. It's like, mages attack you. So, that is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Nice little cutscene right there. We're finally in our, through our adventure, all the cutscenes, and this little thing right here makes a cool noise. This is where the last boss will be. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. You'll see that later, probably around, like, t part 20-something. I'm just guessing how long this is gonna be. It's probably longer than that. It's probably gonna be, like, 30 parts. You know, they're kind of like an average Let's Play. It's not a terribly long game, but it's not really short, either. Have you met the last world and I really don't want to talk to you, but if I keep talking to him, I'll, he'll eventually go away and I'll get souls. Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Alright, so we get the blue eye stone and the white eye stone. What these do is the blue eye stone will allow you to be summoned by someone. You lay it down to be summoned by a friend or somebody random. And a white eye stone is like, say you got summoned by the wrong person that you don't want to join, you lay the white eye stone to leave his lobby. You will actually get another one called the red eye stone. It's where you invade people. That's another little thing in this game that I haven't really pointed out. This is multiplayer, so you can, if you're on multiplayer, right now I'm offline, I'm not even signed on. Um, but if you're on multiplayer, you have the choice to invade other people, and if you win, you get souls and stuff and whatnot. I'm pretty sure you actually get resurrected as well. There's actually four songs, I think. I can't really remember. Uh, sorry about that, but I can't. I've, I've played this game a ton, but I just haven't played it in so long. And um, what you and you also will might if you're online, you might randomly be invaded by someone. You never know, and they can take you down. They might be like in extremely good. So be aware of that. You might want to play offline if you don't really want that to happen, unless you, have, you actually want to play with friends and you kind of have to be online, but. It's all up to you. This is your adventure and everything. And thank you for watching, everyone. Leave some feedback. You know, leave a like if you like the video. Um, check out my channel if you want. It's all up to you. It's your YouTube. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. We'll, we'll probably take on one of these Arctic Stones. I'm probably leaning toward doing part two of this or part one of this. I like saving those kind of for last. They're a little bit more difficult. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Demon Souls Part 2. Five.